Hi everybody, we just got back from Partyville, Wisconsin. Um, we took a early morning drive after Russ was done with work to the Amish. There's a Bent and Dent, spectacular, and then just a regular Amish grocery store. There's a greenhouse, but they were pretty much sold out already. Uh, what else? There's a furniture store there, beautiful stuff. Just don't need anything right now. So we stopped at, a, uh, let me get this right, a farm stand that we discovered last year. And let me show you what we got. This stuff is amazing. I forgot what she called this. I totally forgot. But she said, it's like, it's got a fancy name. Bountiful, delicious, I don't know. But you, she says, cut this in half, put it in a dish, probably a pie plate with some water, put it in a microwave until the outside is soft, and that's it. So we thought, we said, we said, we said we try one. Then I stocked, I got my cabbage. I got my cabbage. She has beautiful cabbage. I got my cabbage for cabbage rolls, and then I'm going to make a bunch and freeze them. Hold on, I hear Maggie in my stash. Stay out of there. We got that stuff at the Benton Dent. Crazy. Anyway, spaghetti squash for us. And then if we have a bunch of people, we'll probably make this big one here. Oh my God, with homemade spaghetti sauce or Alfredo sauce. Spaghetti, oh, spaghetti squash is amazing. Even butter or olive oil, salt and pepper. Oh man, if you wanna see a video how to make spaghetti squash, let me know. It's very simple. Then my butternut, there's a lot of different squash names. Butternut, because I like to make that soup, so I got a big one. So I still need to get a parsnip, sweet potato, and I think there's something else, but I don't remember. So I got to get that at the grocery store. They didn't have any parsnips. And then white acorn squash. Oh, Russ doesn't care for regular acorn squash. So last year she had us try one of these. Oh my goodness. It's like a really fancy, creamy mashed potato. And it has, I think she said a third or a quarter, don't remember, of the carbohydrates. So this is like our replacement for mashed potatoes. And then we got a whole box of buttercup. And then I made a comment to her that the ones we got from her last time I put in the fridge and they didn't last very long. And hold on, I see some, I hear somebody being naughty. Maggie. Mm. She bakes these just like I do, but then she take, you know, takes them out of the, I don't know, shell. I don't know what you call these. My brain isn't working. Not the shell. Peel, whatever. Whatever it's called. Can't think of it now. And then puts it just in his heavy-duty Ziploc bag, you know, freezer bag, and puts it in the freezer. I'm like, duh, I should have known that because we eat these like mashed potatoes also. Let me think. Oh, and then we got these pumpkins from her. Beautiful, perfect white pumpkin. And then these, these I don't know what they're called, wart pumpkins, ugly pumpkins. I love that one. And then we got that one for outside decoration. I had to put the white one, though, on the black milk can because otherwise it just fades but kind of it works with all the like, green and white going here you know my fountain's going so it sounds pretty so she's a wonderful lady uh let me go back in and i'll tell you where to find so her. she's in i guess technically partyville if you're on the corner of highway 33 and 22 that's not her stand you go trying to think it's either south or east on ee and she's the first farm stand on the right side um is it south or east oh man i can't remember i think it's the east side of ee shoot but anyway there is a farm stand on the corner of 22 and ee and you want to go down ee and find her in partyville her stuff, I, I guarantee, is money well spent. It's spectacular. So besides that, in the Amish hall, which I guess I can show you real quick. We got Maggie, oops. Well, maybe not. I gotta unpack a lot. So that's what we did today. All right, beautiful day. I hope yours is great too.
Bye. See you in the next video.